Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to root your Toshiba Thrive tablet. Now to do this you're going to need to make sure that you have the drivers installed on your computer and if you don't I will have that link provided in the uh, description of this video and you need to make sure that you are on uh, any one of these builds on your tablet either the 0032, 0006, uh, 055.0006, the 0008, the 0001, or the 0011. Any of those builds, and uh, if you're on any of those, then this way to root your device will work. And if you don't know, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, then you're going to want to go to your settings, uh, about tablet, and then scroll all the way down to build number. Now mine says, let's see if this will focus, 0032 on the bottom. So it's right here, it's going to be on the bottom, and uh, that'll tell you which build number you're on. So if you are on any of those builds, as I said, then this will work. Uh, and, and if you can't remember which build I was talking about, just or what that I just listed, just rewind this video and uh, go back and then just replay it and see if any things I mentioned was the build you're on, or just keep watching and when I get to the my computer, I'll stop for a second and highlight all those builds. There's a list of them on the, on the site and you could check and see if you are in any of the right builds. So, without any further ado, let's root this bad boy. All right, so once you click on the Easy Root Tool link that I'm gonna have in the description of my video, it's gonna take you to the Toshiba Thrive Forums. Now, I usually go to XDA developers for all of my developer uh, needs, all my ROMs and everything, but Sadly, uh, the Thrive really isn't supported that well on the, on the XDA forums, so I did a Google search, found the Toshiba Thrive forums, and hey, what do you know? The website that's exclusively for the Thrive is actually has some actually good, uh, some good support. So you're going to scroll down, and this is brought to you by Dale PL. He's a de big developer here. He uh, provides us with a lot of things, so make sure you thank him. And as you can see, this is the Dalenet Thrive 10.1 inch Easy Flash tool. So you're gonna see a bunch of warnings and uh, notes, and here is the list of ROMs that currently can be rooted with this tool. So as I said, 0032 and all the way down the line, there's six of them here. If you're on any of these, then this will work for you. And keep scrolling down, you got your instructions, change logs, Basically, you just want to keep scrolling until you get right here, the download link. You're going to click on it and wait for it to download. It's going to take a few minutes. And once that's done downloading, you're going to navigate to the folder that it is on, uh, or that you put it in. And it's the, first, the only thing you're going to see is the uh, zip folder that says Dalenet Thrive uh, Easy Flash Tool version 1.5. So you're going to right click that. Go to 7-zip and extract here, or extract to whichever folder you desire. And then you're gonna get all these other folders and files here. And you're gonna want the Easy Flash tool, so double click on that. And you're gonna have this uh, terminal log that pops up right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so we have the Toshiba Thrive Easy Flash tool. So it has a couple of selections right here to root your device, unroot your device, flash recovery image to your device, or quit. We want to root our device, so we're going to hit one and enter. Now you have your warnings or your uh, prerequisites. So you're going to ensure device's USB port is set to debug mode, debug mode by selecting settings, applications, development, and selecting USB debugging. So on your tablet, you're going to go to your settings, which I will show you right here. Settings, you're going to go to applications and development 
and USB debugging. So you're gonna check that, hit OK, and then put your tablet back down. You're gonna ensure your device is plugged into the external charger. So once your device is plugged in, you can move on to the next step. Connect your device to your PC with the mini USB port on the device. So you're gonna plug in your USB into your computer and you're gonna plug in the opposite end into the mini USB on the side. Just remove the cover and plug it right in. So once it's plugged in, you are going to power down your device. So you're gonna hold down the power button and you're gonna have this little window pops up. Would you like to shut down? Hit okay. And you should be powering down right now. All right, now you're gonna want to get into your device's recovery. So to do that, you're gonna hold the up volume button and the power button simultaneously. Just keep holding until it vibrates and then let go. You're gonna come up to this screen. To navigate through here, you need to use the up and down volume keys and the power button. So, you are gonna to go to fast boot, which is your first icon, looks like a USB uh, symbol, and you're gonna hit the power button. This will take you into fast boot. Now, once it says starting USB or starting fast boot USB download protocol in the top left corner, you are ready to go. Don't do anything else and press any key on your computer. All right, let's take it back over here. You're gonna come up to a new window. It's gonna have uh, all the boot images that you wanna flash. You can flash uh, any one of those. You just wanna make sure that you flash the one from what build number you are, uh, you are on. So if you're on 0032, flash that one, and so on, so forth, 0006, 0011. And uh, like I said, just flash the one uh, that your Toshiba Thrive is currently running. Now, as you can see, you have two options. You have a basic, just the build one, and then following that, it'll be the same build, but it'll be OOM optimized. And what that means is that it's it's out, out of memory optimized, which is gonna have a mod for the boot image. So uh, you're gonna use it's gonna be a lot, pretty much it's gonna be a lot smoother. So uh, if you run, if you flash a OOM optimized uh, boot image, then uh, going through screens is gonna be a lot smoother. You're gonna have a lot more uh, optimized memory, basically. So I recommend doing the optimized version of the boot images. If you don't want to, that's all right. Just select whichever one you need and then hit enter. And then it's gonna go through its log and uh, it go, it's pretty quick. Mine's already finished and my Thrive is rebooting. Now this might take a while for the first time. <laughs> Obviously right here it did not. So I mean at this point you can unplug your USB cable and let's get in there and see if you are rooted. Let's go to apps. There it is, there's super user. I am now rooted. All right, so that wasn't too hard. All you had to do was click on that download link, uh, download it, unzip the file, go to easy flash tool, and do all the prerequisites, uh, find which build you needed just by from what we did earlier and seeing which uh, build your Thrive is running selected either the regular version or the optimized version, flashed it, and that is it. So very simple. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave some uh, a comment if you would like, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I, AC Syndicate TV does a lot of things on here, so uh, if you subscribe, you'll keep updated on everything that's uploaded 
here on AC Syndicate TV. And also, uh, make sure that you subscribe to all of my social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. That is yet another way, and a better way, actually, to stay updated on what's going on with AC Syndicate TV and uh, all the videos that are going to be posted and things of that nature. As always, this is Spotlight Guy. I hope you enjoyed this vid and had a, have a very great day. I'm signing out.